Well, Byron, I'm not envious because today, after panic and grief-stricken moments during this week where our food delivery for this area, for the camp didn't arrive, we had a delivery today. So Byron was saying today if they didn't arrive that he was going to commit some grievous bodily harm to whoever the guy was that was supposed to be bringing it but all is calm and settled we have food in camp so there's no need to be jealous of a rotting stinking buffalo because we got Amanda instead and she makes very delicious food so we don't have to worry anymore but it was getting a bit bit of a, a scary moment there we had very little food and when Byron doesn't have enough food well then we know things get a little bit tense so I'm glad we found food and also glad that uh, it arrived before it got too desperate and Byron ended up maybe eating somebody else <laughs> no not that he would I'm just joking you can see Nana though he's stuffed he's eaten his way through it he found something that he ate that I don't think he liked the taste of because he had the funniest face as he was eating it. it's almost like when you're a kid and your parents are forcing you to eat something that you don't like like vegetables or something like that and you're trying to put it down because you're getting told you're not gonna have dessert if you don't eat it and <laughs> this guy had the same face he was kind of putting it down but he really didn't seem as though he enjoyed it at all so I wonder what that was that he managed to gobble we couldn't see nicely but the face was priceless now Brokeback Byron at the moment has a, a little bit of a problem with counting so I just need to help him out quickly because he's wondering as to how he uses the numbers on the radio well Byron it's quite simple channel 1 is here via teller channel 2 is the channel that you're looking for to try and find your spotted cat down on Chitwa so if you go on to channel 2 that's what you're looking for and channel 5 Byron is for the western side so there you go we've given Byron a little bit of a maths lesson as well as a radio lesson Oh, there we go. You see, he's eating a bit of the intestine. So for those of you that are squeamish, it might be a good time to turn away now because I think he's getting some of the stomach and, and the intestines now, and that's maybe why he's pulling that face. It's <laughs> not a job I would want to do, that's for sure. But, well, if you want to stay king out here and you want to be big and powerful, I suppose that's what you've got to do. You've got to get all those nutritious organs inside there. But you can imagine what that must smell like, putting your muzzle in there. Oof, I can't. Ola, Denise, you want to know what the names are of all the Birmingham boys. Well, let's start from the boy at the back, who's in a state of recline. He looks like my dad on a Saturday afternoon when watching the rugby. He's passed out and kind of taking it easy before the rugby starts and with, <laughs> with that rounded belly. Now, no shame, he's going to properly kick me for that, so <laughs> let's not go down that road. But that over there is um, Insuku, so Insuku means gold. Um, and he was given that name because he had the big blonde mane when he first arrived so that's him over there then in front here we've got Nena he's got the equal sign on his nose as we were talking about just now and then I'm hoping that Tinyo and Mfumo which are the other two arrive now Tinyo means tooth and it's a broken left canine that he's got his lips sit slightly funny so he's quite easy to identify you can see the buffalo leg moving all over the place it looks quite weird because it almost looks like the buffalo is alive it's not I can tell you that this buffalo has been well and truly dead for two days but he's just getting into that leg and then Mfumo which is the last one is authority it means the authority which is i think brent's favorite name for the birmingham boys he loves the name of fumo and so he's also around and then i didn't say what nena means but nena means warrior so those are the names for all of the four birmingham boys and they were given the names by james and brent and jamie and they all sat down and they went through it and they got the proper names for this area the language that is spoken in this area so that's the naming of the Birmingham boys and there used to be a fifth one unfortunately he's he died um, two years ago now I would imagine yeah it's almost two years ago and um, he died from a buffalo wound to the chest so yeah unfortunately for him it would have been nice to have the five of them it would have been interesting to see the dynamic if there was a fifth one because at the moment there's enough females that the four of them kind of don't really compete too much with one another there's the torchwoods and now, in fact they've got four prides but I wonder if the fifth one would have caused a little bit more of a stir amongst these boys and would have actually united them a bit more in some places it's interesting sometimes you get a certain member that likes to spend time with others and that keeps them together and when that disappears you see a little bit more of a breakup but we'll see we'll see how it goes with these four i think they're going to have to be careful at some point they've been largely untested even in their sort of takeover of this area yes they had to chase out two big male lines in the form of the matimbas but a numbers game five on two it was never going to work for the matimbas and, and so since then they've had nobody come in here and try and chase oh no 
Yes, that's the stomach lining that he's getting into now. So we're getting into the nitty gritty stuff at this stage. And you can see there's bits of rumen and all kinds of things. And like I say, if you're a bit squeamish, this is probably not the best thing. So we're going to go away from this to the baby face Byron and see if he's managed to figure out his maths and work out the radio numbers and see where he is. <laughs> 